Have you heard of an electric race car that you can buy from a manufacturer? No, there isn't one you can buy right now. Really, realistically, there's not. But Hyundai or Hyundai, they say that's about to change. Their new electric Ionic 5 race car, which can be driven on the road as well as the track, is utterly mind-blowing. I mean, the amount of work that's gone into this, it's insanely light. It's 550 pounds lighter than the regular car. This thing is just unreal. It's such, it's such a demonstration that there's no reason internal combustion cars are any better in any way, whether that be for racing or otherwise, than EVs are. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of images of this new race car, but we do have some. Hyundai has just revealed, sort of revealed, the NPX1. The NPX1 is essentially the Ionic 5N, but in a true race version. I watched the Goodwood Festival of Speed, and I, if you did watch that, it was kind of a fun event to see, but we saw the really the only mainstream EV that was there, aside from the rematch Navira, which is like a $7 million electric supercar, was the Ionic 5N. It did really well, but clearly on a racetrack, it's a heavy vehicle. It's not small. I mean, it's not a hatchback. It's a relatively big vehicle, but it's still fairly heavy. Hyundai is saying, you know what? We're going to bring out the first electric race car that you can actually buy. And this really shows us that Electric cars can be used as race cars. There's no reason why not. Apparently, this new race car has a new body kit. The weight has been reduced by an incredible 551 pounds over the standard road-going Ionic 5N. It's got adjustable suspension that drops the ride height by a staggering 2.8 inches. So you wouldn't drive that on the road, probably 2.8 inches lower than the standard model, but on a racetrack, it would be ideal. The other thing to consider, with an EV, the weight distribution is really even. I mean, the weight is all sitting at the bottom of the vehicle. It's very, very bottom with an engine. The car can feel kind of top heavy. But with all that weight distributed through the battery pack on the bottom of the car, I think an Ionic 5N race car would be absolutely unreal. The race car has 18-inch wheels, so smallish wheels, but big tires. 280 by 680 R18s. So they're slick tires, six-piston front and four-piston rear brake calipers, it has polycarbonate side and rear windows. So one of the ways they've, re they've reduced weight is by putting plastic windows in instead of glass windows. It's got an air jack, a 6-point FIA compliant roll cage, and a kill switch in case the battery overheats or, I don't know, something happens. Possible. Now, apparently, Hyundai are going to take the Ionic 5N racing in the South Korean first one-make EV competition. The development is expected to end next month and the EN1 Cup car is scheduled to hit the track as early as May, says Motor1.com. Drivers will be allowed to simulate gear changes by using the NE shift function that acts like an eight-speed dual clutch automatic. So it looks like Hyundai are doing a similar thing to Toyota with the, the fake manual transmission thing. Now, the NPX1, you have to see this, this completely revealed in the flesh at the Tokyo Auto Salon on the 12th of January. So within only a couple of days from now, this car will be officially revealed. Either way, guys, I think this is unreal. I would absolutely love a car like this. So really exciting to see the first, possibly. Don't know for sure, but I believe the first electric race car that you'll be able to buy. Now, will you be able to buy this outside of South Korea? You know what? Nobody knows. Let's cross our fingers and hope. Thanks for watching.